Oh, hello there. I'm Dr. Jones. Welcome to the lab. You might be asking yourself, what does science have to do with archery and what is the lab? So the lab is part science experiment, part me just wanting to shoot things with my bow to kind of see what'll happen. Let's take a look at the lab. So this is the lab. As you can see, today's experiment, we're gonna be trying to see if an arrow will actually go through a piece of drywall. I've seen the movies before, trying to figure out maybe is that made up or is it actually gonna happen? So a piece of drywall, just standard right from the store. What we did is we clamped it down into the lab. As you can see, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be shooting an arrow at the drywall. So the arrow that we're gonna be using is a Carbon Express Maxima Red with a muzzy broadhead. We are actually gonna to try to reproduce the realest scene we can from the movies. What movie that is, I don't know. I've made that up, but let's find out anyways. What I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna have a Hoyt Spider 30, my compound hunting bow, and I will be about maybe 20 yards away, and we're just gonna fire this and see what'll happen. So, with any legitimate experiment, it has to be a controlled environment, right? So today's temperature outside is 71 degrees. There is a 14.8 degree cloud cover. The barometric pressure is 12. The temperature and the humidity from these trees create a 17.32% reduction in aeroflight velocity, Velociraptor. Let's get started. But before we do that, as with any accurate experiment, we must drink some accuracy elixir. Oh, yeah. Let's get accurate. And now, the experiment begins. Shall we? Nope, can't do it with the goggles. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now the experiment begins. I was trying it with the goggles. It just wasn't happening. Here we go. Looks like you got a hit. Let us take a look. Wow. So as you guys can see, it did not stand a chance. The arrow went straight through. It actually impacted my Luminoc into the shaft of the arrow. So these are 350 grain and it just ripped right through. That didn't even stand a chance. I would like to say that the likely reason I did hit it was because of the accuracy elixir, and, um, but really there was no chance that this thing was ever gonna be able to stop this broadhead. And you can see it actually went all the way through and it stuck in the board behind. So let's take a look and see if it went all the way. No, it didn't go all the way, all the way through. It did stop in our safety wood that we have back here. We call this safety wood. So if this video was helpful to you, if it scratched a little bit of an intellectual itch, uh, consider, consider liking the page, consider subscribing to the channel. I will be doing a lot more videos here in the lab. And uh, if this, oh, hold on. I'm not getting that broadhead out. That one's gonna be there forever. Oh, hold on, come on, Mark. Here we go. Stand by, this is science. That's what it looks like. Straight pass through. So, uh, like the page, like me, do all that stuff, do it for science. If you have suggestions and recommendations of things that you would like to see brought here to the lab, comment below because I can't do all of it by myself. I have a huge brain, but not as big as all yours put together. Actually, I probably still do. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.